found myself sort of compelled to watch things like the tsunami and the London riots and I think so much of what we see and so many stories that we see nowadays comes from footage shot on mobile phones. Oh. Jacob. <laughs> what about Sky? That's still yeah. something. Yeah, let's go. Reality is always my starting point and real human emotions and the way in which we deal with and interact with life. If you start with reality, then you can kind of take it to anywhere. And that's what's kind of interesting about this is, you know, you start with the real world, you start with some real characters, some real emotions, and then you introduce something that is extra real. They're not fireworks. And it's inside now. Move! We're coming over from where? Oh, from the house. Mark. 27, take two. The story is an alien abduction that happens in a small area in London. Okay, good. Yeah. 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 Most of the time, the, the person operating the camera was the, were the actors. Um, again, because it's a mobile phone and it's a point of view piece, and therefore, you know, if you see their reflection, or you, it should be them because it should be real. That's how I poke outside. We had a housing for the camera that we made out of a plug socket, which just meant it was a bit easier to move around and you dropped it and because we were running and throwing it around. When we were first told that it was going to be done on a mobile phone, it was going to be shot on a mobile phone, we were a little freaked out because it was a variable that we were not that familiar with. We'd, we've never dealt with that kind of footage before. A number of visual effects, more than I told them there would be at the beginning, as is usually the case. I will talk them through what I want at the beginning, they'll go away and bring their ideas to it and make it come alive. The inspiration for the bug came mainly from um, bugs that we see around us and like alien life forms as well, like the idea that we have about alien life forms. So it has more eyes, it has like more of an exoskeleton than a praying mantis would have. Those are just aspects of things that would freak people out. The great thing about the Xperia phone is that it's very adaptable, you can pick it up, you can take its places where you'd never be able to get a film camera. You can give it to an actor to get on the back of a bike with and cycle down the street, or you can send it up in a helicam, or you can um, hurl it around. The phone is HD in great and low light conditions, and therefore we were able to shoot the film with little or no proper film lighting, just using the street lights um, or practical sources within uh, the houses we were filming in. We did a shot in the film where we put two girls under a van in that tiny confined space between the floor with the girls in the middle and then the van on the top, which is literally a couple of feet, if, if that. You know, because the camera's so small, you can, you, you can fit it there and get a shot that you'd never really be able to achieve. It's that freedom and flexibility that the phone gives you that enables it to feel more real.